Hey folks, Ryan Harris here in Trinidad and Tobago. Actually, I'm in Trinidad. We're going to go to Tobago on Wednesday. Hadn't talked to you folks in a while, so I thought I'd check in. I'm here in front of 40 Winks. 40 Winks, I'm going to give you a look. 40 Winks is one of our host uh, micro, one of our host micro hotels. It has about five rooms. You see, it's got some very colorful, colorful outside again it's a great place if you wanted to ever come and just experience Trinidad and Tobago very affordable rates I'm gonna let you see a little bit we're down right outside of Port of Spain actually there's the um, the roundabout uh, that's here that far from here where they have the Trinidad they have the carnival a lot of carnival and stuff but I'm trying to tell people let's forget about it. let's change our thoughts we want to go to all inclusives and we don't get a chance to really see the islands so we're going to go take a quick peek in here, let you guys see a little bit more of what goes on in 40 Winks. It is, as I said, it is a black owned micro hotel. We happen to know the folks here. I'm going to come in here real quick and say hi. I want you to see a little bit. This is the, when you come in, this is the entrance. You see you got beautiful pictures, local art. This is put together. It's very well put together. And we're going to say hi real quick to the owner and designer of Forney Wicks, Miss Pamela <laughs> Martley Lawrence. How you doing? Hi, hi, hi. I'm good. We just ran into you. I got all my folks here. They're waving back at you. So uh, we're here live in Trinidad and Tobago. You've been doing this for how long? 14 years. 14 years. My this second career. Female. This is a female entrepreneur. What made you decide to get into uh, this business? Because my parents always had guests in when we lived in the big house in Cascade. And there were always, always a demand for, 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 for rooms. Um, and this is many years ago. And then when I retired, I thought, well, why not? I, I, I worked in the hospitality industry and in, in banking and, um, and, and did public relations. So I thought, why not? This, this is something I could easily handle. Now, you took this place from uh, where it was. You, you actually came in, put your love into it, and you uh, rehabbed it and remodeled it. Is that correct? I put more on love, a lot of money. I spent more to rehabilitate it than I spent to buy it, yeah. the property. And that's important. Again, like I said, it's a beautiful facility. I'm telling folks, we need to go look for these gems instead of always looking for these uh, well-known hotels that charge you so much you can't really enjoy the island. Tell us a little bit about the island of Trinidad. Uh, we all hear about Carnival, but tell me real quick some of the things that are kind of neat here, like uh, the caves and the turtles. Well, Trinidad is very different from any of the other Caribbean islands. First of all, we are not part of the chain of islands that run north-south. We are part of the Venezuelan mainland. And so our flora and fauna is out of Venezuela. So we have big animals. We have cats, big cats, wild animals. We have swamps. Um, we have mountain ranges and we have valleys and we have gorges. So we have a wide variety of um, and the, any of the islands are, which are the, the, other, the other islands tend to be flat mm -hmm. and just offer beaches. And we have beaches and we can offer a whole lot more. Plus we are larger, so a lot of contrasts. Yeah. You got uh, the Pitch Lake, which uh, it's kind of one of the wonders of the world, correct? It is. Well, it, you go out here. it's the eighth wonder of the world. Eighth wonder mm -hmm. of the world. No matter how much pitch you take out, that's for the roads, it mm -hmm. always refills, correct? It fills up. petroleum based. Again, that part of the island is near the Venezuelan coastline and Venezuela has oil. That's how come that's how come we have oil because we were once connected to the Venezuelan mainland. Yeah. And uh, tell me a little bit you uh, about the turtles, obviously the big turtles that come here. Well, huge they call they call leatherback turtles. Um, Trinidad and the islands along this part far south in the Caribbean are main nesting locations for them. So they come every year back to the same beach that they had laid their eggs the previous year um, and then go back and go all over the world. We have tagged them and found them that they're coming all the way from China and some places all over the world. But they come back here every year to, to, um, to lay their eggs. 
and, and, and folks, this is a phenomenon now that it's, uh, it's basically uh, a sight to see. You come at night and you watch these hatchlings as they make their way to the ocean, correct? Well, the, first of all, the, 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 the male turtles roam around just offshore, impregnate the females, and with time, they come up on the beach, dig their holes, lay their eggs, it's a whole big tralala because they have to camouflage the area so that people and dogs and animals don't know where these eggs are buried. So it's an amazing process. And then having protected her eggs, sometimes as many as a thousand eggs, she ambles back out, goes out to sea, never to return until another year where she comes to lay another set of eggs. These hatchlings, after a couple months, well, they grow and, and then they come up to the surface. Um, with little turtles all looking to get out of the water as quickly as possible, which is a little dangerous thing. Dogs eat them, people eat, eat them. When they get into the ocean, sea animals eat them. So a very small percentage of them actually survive. But they come back 25 years later, back on that same beach to, to, to do the cycle, and the cycle starts again to lay their own eggs. Great, great. Now tell me, there's some, there's some caves also here? Well, we have caves. We have caves offshore, Gaspar Grande. Um, beautiful, beautiful cave. We're going to be visiting that soon. And then we have an, bat caves, because bats are part of the feature of our, of our um, you know, all, all the different flora and fauna that we have here and um, animals. So there's a, actually it's very interesting, might be a little scary, because this particular bat cave, the Tamina bat cave, has more than a thousand bats living in it. And wow. at a certain time of night, they all fly out. <laughs> mm. it's, it's a little bit scary, but it's very interesting and they don't, they don't really bother anybody. Okay. They're just going about their, their, their day and night. Now, also, isn't there a zip line that's kind of well known out yes. here in the? So we have a zip line facility. Yes. It's out kind of in the in wilderness. In the West End. Okay. So, the, yes, the West End. It was once the base for the American Army during World War II. Trinidad had to fight back to get the land and the property, but we have it back now. So it's very heavily forested, and um, zip lining is one of the new things that has been introduced, and very soon. Um, there's a lot of activity going on with entertainment for kids and pools and just family entertainment, which will be finished in another year or so in the West End. Great. And uh, we also, we, we visited Maracas, which is a great little island with bacon shark and other great uh, local uh, food. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the local, uh, the local beaches here and tell us a little bit about Tobago. Okay, well, we have our share of beaches. A lot of them are difficult to access simply because they are on the north coast, which is, which is mountainous. But hikers do that, and of course those pristine beaches are the most attractive. The more accessible ones, well, they're more used. <laughs> uh, but Maracas is the, the most famous of them. Um, and you asked me about Tobago. Tobago is surrounded by beaches. It's a little island, it's much smaller than, than our island. And, um, so their, their best thing, their only industry actually is tourism. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they sell their beaches and what goes with sun, sea and sand. They Whereas also, it's a little different to Trinidad tourism because we have, you know, all these other things, things to do. All these other, yes, mm -hmm. you know, hiking and stuff like that, which Trinidad Tobago yeah. doesn't have too much of. And, and also understand that unlike a lot of the other islands, this is a fairly industrialized uh, country. You have uh, natural gas, you have oil, so it wasn't designed for tourism, it just has some neat stuff yeah. that come and see the uh, island of Trinidad mm -hmm. Port and to come to Port of Spain, etc. Um, I wanted to ask you, flying fish in Tobago, mm -hmm. they're known for flying fish, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, they just claims it, but yeah. actually, those flying fish are Tobagonian flying fish. Yeah, <laughs> I actually saw some of them flying, some here close to the, uh, when I was in Maracas, I saw a few, which was pretty wild. Really? Yes, I did. Okay, well, Pam, um, we, we appreciate you taking a few minutes and talking to us. Now, now, if, if somebody wanted to contact you and maybe spend some time here, give them uh, your contact information for 40 weeks. And folks, call, if you do call them, tell them the Black Book sent you. Give them your contact information. Well, the simplest way to contact 
contact us if you just put www.40wingstt.com. We're going to come up. Yeah. And Google. And, Easiest way. And you can find her on the Black Book also. If you go on the Black Book and you type 40 Winks or Trinidad, you'll also find uh, 40 Winks. Yes, you got into our websites as well. Great. So I'm going to take another quick, we're going to take a quick look to see. This is if you go out here, you see this nice little food court? I want you to see. You say you see the pictures on the on the wall. It's very very well put together. You got the pictures of the windows and stuff. And we're gonna come down here and go down the hallway. You got the kitchen here. You got information about the the different uh, tours and opportunities to visit. You got a nice picture of panorama. We're going to actually see if I can get up. Is it locked or unlocked? I wanted to go upstairs. Ryan, Ryan, come, come. Keep it on there. Okay. I'm just taking a picture. Okay. So, again, this is just a quick look at 40 Winks, folks, in Trinidad and Tobago. So, we and Black Book TV will be doing. So, tune in August. Black Book TV will launch. And we will be doing a section called Black Vacation Station. Where we're going to put this information back up so you can see a little bit more about Trinidad and Tobago. And I challenge you, if you've had some great pic pictures or videos of your vacation and like to put them on Black Vacation Station, then please don't hesitate to contact me at lvblackbook702 at gmail.com. Black Book TV is designed to uplift us. It's designed with content about us. So we ask for you, if you've got uh, vacation experiences that you want the world to know about, then send them to us on Black Book TV and we will put you on the show. This is Brian Harris, tuning out here in Trinidad and Tobago. I thank all you folks who took the time to watch and listen as we explore Trinidad and Tobago. Peace.